I want to say welcome to, welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody and all. It's not Merry Christmas at all until I say Merry Christmas. But nonetheless, you're here in my world, in Dave's world. This is my world, everybody. You're welcome to my world, not Donald Trump's world, not the President of the United States' world. Uh, my world, not Joe Biden. It's me, little me. Welcome to my world until I pass away, whatever comes first. But anyway, until then, until I pass away, you guys will enjoy my lovely podcast I got out there, really in stereo. This is stereo sounding microphones. This is right and left microphones. So it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna pan right and left for the right and left sound for the stereo sounding microphones. So I wanna, I wanna iterate that this is a stereo sounding, uh, podcast for your enjoyment to your listeners out there. So I wanna put that in, in perspective. One, one, one more, one more thing, one more thing I gotta say to you guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is my podcast. This is my free, and a free moment to free to say whatever I need to say. It's like free speech to everybody. Uh, I want to say one quick thing. We are in the midst of transition from uh, uh, Donald J. Trump to Joe Biden. Yes, I said it in the past few days or so. Donald Trump's got to come to grips, and I say come to grips about him, uh, about Donald J. Trump leaving. Uh, the White House, completely leaving the White House. Uh, he's going to be leaving the White House on, get this everybody, January 20th. That's January 20th. You're going to say goodbye to Donald Trump? Hello, Joe Biden. And Kamala Harris, I can't forget her about Kamala Harris. Yes. She's going to be the Vice President. That's right, folks. Vice President. That rings a bell. Sure, that rings a bell. It's like a story in a story of uh, Kamala Harris. Her life it, uh, if she plays her cards right, in the next four years, she may become the next president of the United States after Joe Biden in the year 2024. That's right, folks. Count your, count your blessings, count your pennies, count your money, whatever you have to do. Kamala Harris, mark my words, on this day. Kamala Harris will be the president of the United States in the year 2024. Not now. Not now. Not in the year 2020 or not 2021, but the year 2024. Kamala Harris will be the President of the United States in the year 2024. Mark my words, put it down in the calendar. I'm not kidding. So Donald Trump's going to come to grips about Joe Biden win the damn thing. He comes, he's going to come to realize the press secretary has not mentioned it yet. The press secretary of the White House in the briefing room has not mentioned it yet. Um... So that lady, whatever her name is, uh, the, the, the lady who gives the press briefing for Donald Trump, uh, the press secretary lady, uh, needs to acknowledge that, that uh, Joe Biden is going to come into the White House. And uh, her response, as I would say, her response would be, yes, Joe Biden is going to come into the White House, and yes, she may be leaving. The press secretary may be leaving the White House completely. Uh, she was great, don't get me wrong, she was great, but uh, she might be needed elsewhere, as they would say. She may be needed elsewhere. So she's the press secretary, she speaks for Donald Trump in the press briefing rooms. And you see her every, every single week at the press briefing in the White House, she's the press secretary, I forget her name, I keep forgetting her name, uh, but currently, she not even, can't even acknowledge that she's, Joe Biden's coming to the into the White House, and she can't even notice that, let alone Donald Trump. So, I'm giving, I'm giving the thumbs down to the press secretary lady. She's not even noticing that. I kid you not, I've been watching her press briefings for a while, and she hasn't noticed it yet. Uh, and, and that's crazy, that is crazy, everybody. That's certainly crazy. I'm going to put this on podcast and upload it to YouTube and let you guys know that. Uh, so, she hasn't noticed that the press... Uh, uh, the press secretary lady that you see sometimes uh, at the uh, live streaming videos in the briefing room with the reporters, uh, she has acknowledged that Joe Biden's going to be the next president of the United States. Haven't even acknowledged it yet. Let alone Donald Trump trying to realize that. Uh, this is no joke, everybody. I'm, I'm trying to hear every single week that she does a press conference uh, in the briefing room at the White House. Uh, she's press secretary lady. And uh, she hasn't acknowledged it yet. 
She really hasn't acknowledged it yet. And I'm saying this in stereo sound, not a model sounding. Stereo sounding. Um, so, this podcast is going to be in stereo, not mono sounding. Uh, so, I want to iterate that. This is going to sound like a movie, a full fledged movie. Uh, so, the press secretary needs the knowledge, really needs the knowledge that Joe Biden is coming to the Trump administration in, in January 20th. That's January 20th, everybody. January 20th. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to Donald Trump. Hello, Joe Biden. And uh, I'm waiting for that actual day when I could actually say that. The actual day. Uh, we're going to send a goodbye song to Donald Trump. Uh, you know, as they do in arenas. We're going to sing that goodbye song. Now, and then I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Goodbye, Donald Trump. Na, na. Say, say with me. Say with me, everybody. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye, Donald Trump. Say it, say it. Just make it sound like it, it sounds, sounds so, so freaking hilarious. Say, go, just sing with me. Just get ready for the year uh, in the January 20th. Just say, sing with me. Go like this. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye, Donald Trump. Na, 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 na. Just keep saying that. Keep saying that. So Donald Trump will realize that. Uh... Because he can't even acknowledge it. And really, he can't even acknowledge it. Caitlin, that uh, lady, press secretary lady, uh, Caitlin, or whatever her name is, um, is definitely can't even acknowledge that. She's the press secretary lady who uh, talks to the media every week. She can't even acknowledge it. I'm trying to acknowledge it for my fan base on YouTube. I'm trying to announce that. I'm trying to uh, get them to realize this. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just dumbfounded because of her. I'm just dumbfounded. Every press conference, she can't even acknowledge that Joe Biden's coming into the Trump administration in January 20th. That's right, January 20th. So I'm very sad about her. I'm very, 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 very bad. Very, 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 very sad about this. Folks, I kid you not. Very sad. She can't even acknowledge the press secretary of the White House can't even acknowledge that. Very, very sad, everybody. It's just dumbfounding for me. Anyway, anyway... I, I don't want to get all excited, all miserable, and all uptight about it. I really want to. I want. I want her to acknowledge that. I really want to, just like uh, Mitch McConnell did. I really want uh, the press secretary to acknowledge, at least acknowledge it, at least acknowledge it. Because um, Mitch McConnell, the uh, uh, the uh, senator, uh, Mitch McConnell, acknowledged it. He said it right on the on the Senate floor. That's in the White House. And she, he even acknowledged it. I want to say this real loud to everybody. He even acknowledged it in his own words. He even acknowledged that, that Joe Biden is coming into the White House on January 20th. January 20th, folks. Mitch McConnell, you hear me out there? Mitch McConnell even mentioned, mentioned it in his, in his uh, Senate floor. He even acknowledged it. I didn't tell him to say it. He acknowledged it. So this is what I'm saying in my podcast. I'm going to upload this to YouTube videos up to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to get you guys to hear that. So, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to put his name down on my, on my YouTube channel, on my YouTube video, and really acknowledge that to him. That Mitch McConnell, I'm going to say his name, put his name in lights. And, uh, I'm going to really make sure that everybody knows this. Mitch McConnell acknowledged that Joe Biden coming into the in the White House, January 20th. Not right now, but January 20th. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Uh, Holola. And good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I wish you adieu. Tell, tell, the, the, tell the press secretary, can you promise me, people, can you pre ask the press, press secretary lady to even acknowledge that Joe Biden's coming into the, uh, into the White House in January 20th. Can you even tell her that? She's the press secretary lady. In the briefing room, can you tell her that, please? Can you, can you want in the briefing room tell her that? Make sure. Uh, can you actually? Can you tell her to acknowledge it? Can you please tell her to acknowledge this? I want her to acknowledge this. Donald Trump can't even acknowledge it, but I want the press secretary at least acknowledge this. Because Mitch McConnell even acknowledged it. So that's my word and my voice. So there you go, folks. I'll, I'll bid you adieu, everybody.